Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. Oscar, Patricia, and Danny. Okay, it's a nice look, right, Danny? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Mirna. Welcome, Oscar. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, give me a second. So we're going to start with the review. With the review. Okay, give me a second. Por aquí me están mandando unos mensajes del grupo. Okay. Okay. Todo normal. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Now, to begin the class, we're going to start with the review. Give me a second. And we're going to watch the video of the conjunctions again, right? One more time. Give me a second. Oops. This is not the one, sorry. Give me a second. Here. Okay. I got it. Uh, here. Compartir pantalla. Here, right? With the sound. Nido. Here. Okay, class. So, to review, we're going to watch the video. Conjunction, right? Conjunctions. Here. It's opening. Okay. Good. Now pay attention, please. Pay attention. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay. And uh, let me check. I'm going to reduce the window here. 
Okay. And here we have some example, right? I have some commentaries and we're going to read them together. We're going to read them together. That I will maximize this. Maximize, maximize. Okay, good, I have it here. Okay, now here we have the example, right? Helen plays piano and guitar. Good evening. Hello, questions, Alan? No, no questions. No, good evening for a while. Good evening, ah, hello, hello, welcome. welcome. I'm starting to connect. <laughs> oh yes, that's okay, no problem, no problem, welcome. Okay, Helen plays piano and guitar. That's correct, right, piano and guitar. In this case, uh, Anne is, is putting two things together, not two sentences, two things, right? Piano and guitar, right? Okay, so when, but when we have sentences, you can use the comma, right? His name is Raul or Eduardo, okay, the use of or. I love cooking. I'm good at, I am not good at it, right? I suppose it says eat, en esto. Uh -huh. But after this, you have to use what? Iris Palacio, what is missing here? ¿Qué es lo que no falta aquí? Iris, what is missing here? Iris? Before though. Uh -huh. Comma. Comma. Correct, the comma, right? So pay attention to that. Pay attention. Now let's continue. My, my dog is beautiful. Comma. Ah, uh -huh. very good. And it's very big. Remember that when we have two things, it's not necessary the comma. But when we have two sentences, we have to make the comma here and, and the period at the end, right? Comma, period at the end, okay? Now, my town is a small, comma, but it's very noisy. Congratulations, David Magaña, good job. I walk a little, I'm so tired, comma, however, okay? That's nice. Let me see the next. She's very intelligent, comma, and she is pretty friendly, right? Okay, that's good. Janita Garcia, very good because comma and period at the end. She's very intelligent, comma, but she's not too friendly. Okay. So in this case, N, N is addition, right? N, bad is contradiction, right? Okay, what happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí? Okay. She's very intelligent. She's not friendly. Ah, okay, here. She's very intelligent, period. She's not friendly, comma, or whatever, right? And she's very intelligent, period. She's not scientific, comma, though. Though, right? Okay, good, good examples, good example, right? Good commentaries, good participation. I like it. I like it. Okay, so this is the review of the conjunctions. Now we're going to go together with the check knowledge check, right? Yes. Uh, excuse me, is um, Giovanni is in the class today? Está por aquí Giovanni? No. Oh, okay. No problem, but we're going to make it together, right? Okay, good. Here we have the example, right? Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, class, I will make questions, but I want to be sure that you finish. Quiero tener la seguridad que todos lo hicieron ya. Que no hay un tramposito, que no lo haya hecho. <laughs> okay? Oh, ya está, ya, ya está hecho. Yeah, okay, excellent. Very good. No problem. So we can make it together, right? Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely. So the first thing you have to say is the two sentences are contradictory, yes or no? Alan, what do you think? Are they contradictory, yes or no? Let me check what's... Taipei is very nice. Yeah. Everyone is extremely friendly. Is this contradictory? Mm, no. No, right, because nice is positive and friendly is positive. So in this case, Alan, what is the appropriate uh, uh, conjunction? But. 
Mm, remember, bad, a bad is contradictory. No, and... Okay, it isn't. Okay, nice and friendly are the same. I mean, it's two positive things, right? Tepe is very it's nice. nice. And, very, and everyone in the stream is and... friendly. Uh -huh, but the question is, and or bad, Alan? And. And, no? Uh, yes, and, correct. And. That's it, right? Okay, now. So, what is the sentence, Alan? Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely okay, friendly. Wait, 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 relax. But I need you to tell me, <laughs> comma, period. Okay. Huh? Okay, okay Taipei, it's very nice. Period. Video and mm. no, the base very nice, comma okay. and comma. Okay, everyone is extremely friendly. Okie dokie. And at the end, ¿qué es lo que va al final? Video. Video, correct. Punto y final, yeah. right? Okay. Yes. Again, to clarify, Taipei is very nice, comma, and everyone is yes. extremely friendly. Video, right? Okay. Yes. Video. Number two. Eh, Lisette Ramirez, give me a second, Lisette Ramirez, uh, in the sentence, Lisette, give me a second, uh, uh, here. Number two. Okay, thank you very much. Lisette, in the sentence, the streets are crowded, okay, yes. and it's easy to get around. We have two options, right? We have and and though, aunque, right? Uh -huh. so, Crowded is uh, affirmative, is positive or negative? It's to, to. crowded. It's yes. loud. Yes. Uh, so yes. A compa, uh, I don't know, it's crowded, you know, a lot of people. No. The conjunction okay. is. Okay, wait, so. wait, wait, wait. But okay. I want you to think, listen. Like. Okay. Crowded is affirmative or, uh, or is positive or is negative? I mean, is something good or is something bad? Mm, it's bad, maybe. It's bad, it's not something negative. Um, um, Nobody wants to be. Um, it's the it's the pending for for the different people. I know, but most people don't like to to live in crowded places. Yes. Okay. La mayoría no le gusta vivir en un lugar donde hay un montón de gente, right? Yes, it's, okay, it's now, negative. Easy to get around. Fácil de llegar, right? Is affirmative or negative? It's affirmative. Is something positive, right? So we have something negative, but we have something positive. And we want to use and or though. Though. Though, correct. What do you say? Tiene este problema, pero tiene esta cosa que es positiva, right? In this case, you said what would be the sentence? Uh, the streets are crowded, period. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get around, comma, out, period. Excellent, exactly like that, right? Very good, thank you very much. Oscar Alberto, please. Oscar, number three. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. When I say it's nice, is something affirmative or negative, Oscar? It's affirmative. Yes, it's positive, something nice, right? We say nice, oh, good, right? Nice. But when I say pretty hot, oof, oof. like la unión sometimes, right? Negative something sentence. affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative. So we have something affirmative, I mean positive and negative, right? Positive and negative. So we use and or however. Is the word is nice. Video. Ah, no, no, but, but first oh. let's ask, let's answer the however. question. However, oh. however, okay, good. Well. What is the sentence? Well. The weather, come on, say the sentence. The weather is, is nice, period. Uh -huh. Summers get pretty hot. Summer? Coma. Mm -hmm. get... Coma, however. And, le faltó algo ahí. Algo chiquitito le faltó. Something small. Coma. Co no, the, no, no, no. The word is nice. However, no. Uh, uh, after however. Ah. Es, summers got pretty hot. Coma. However. Ajá. Uh -huh. After however. ¿Qué pasa después de however? José Magaña, que nos ayuda ah, ahí. Ah. Period. 
Ah, it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It is, yes. Okay, so it's the weather is nice. What is period? Summer, great, get pretty hot, comma, however, period, right? Okay, let's go to number four. Teacher, teacher, what okay. is period? Period is punto. Okay. You can say dot, period, right, and point. It depends. Most of the time when it's at the end, cuando va al final, casi siempre dice period, right? Period. Punto. Okay? Good. Okay. Number four. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Tengo que regatear, like in El Salva, right? Solo que con las señoras que venden tomatitos y whiskiles no hay que regatear. Con ellas no, ¿verdad? Okay, bargain, regatear, el mercado. So. Uh, t-shirt, t-shirt. Yes? Excuse me. Uh, here in San Miguel, it's raining. It, it's hardly raining. Uh, and I have uh, trouble with my internet connection. So mm. I will leave the, the, the meeting. Okay, so if later you can uh, access again, no problem, right? We are going to wait for you. No problem. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's continue. Uh, Jose Magaña, please. Shopping is great. Great, good. This is something positive or something negative, Jose? It's positive. It's positive, it's good, right? You have to bargain in the markets. Okay, es bonito comprar, okay, eh, sin embargo, que feo andar regateando precio, okay, so, bargain in the market is something positive or negative, Jose? Negative. Negative, so in this case we have something positive and something negative, so you use, Jose, and or but? But. Correct, no, what is the sentence, Jose? Shopping is great. Uh huh. Comma or period? Comma. Comma. All right. Continue. Continue. You have to bargain in the market. But. Period. Uh, but you have to bargain. But. Uh -huh. uh, shopping is great. Comma. Mm -hmm. But. You have to bargain in the market. Very good. You have to bargain Period. in the market. Good. Thank you, Jose Magaña. Okay. And now, Sarai, number five, Sarai. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. So, the food is delicious, Sarai. Is something positive. Sarai, can you help me? Yes, right? So, is... Something positive or negative? Delicious. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Positive or negative, Sarai? Positive. Positive, good. It's not too expensive, imagine. Mm. Something positive or negative? Negative. Not too expensive. No es muy cara. Mm. This is good or this is bad, Sarai? It's good. It's positive. Okay, excellent. So we have positive and positive. So in this case, what is the correct conjunction? And. And, correct. Good. So what is the sentence, Sarai? Read the sentence. The food. The food is delicious, comma, and it's not too expensive. Uh-huh. Expensive. ¿Qué va después de expensive? What is after... Expensive. ¿Qué faltó ahí, eh, Sarai? Lo, algo chiquitito le faltó al final. ¿Qué es? Something really small. What is it? Pint. ¿El punto? Yes, period. Period. Period, yes. Someone say hi, right? Hello, welcome. Okay, now, and number six. Felipe Linares. Hi, teacher. Right? Yes? Okay. Yes. Number six, please. Amazing city. I love to go there. So. Positive and positive. Positive and? Positive. And positive. Good. Easy, right? So, come on. The sentence, Felipe. It's an amazing city. 
Como, and I love to to go there. Good. Period. Okay, we finished, right? So understand. This topic was kind of difficult, right? Costó un poquito este okay. tema porque algunos uh, no les salía la respuesta correcta por alguna comita, un punto, okay? But I, I, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Felipe. Uh, how to spell period? How do you spell period? Ah, period. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? I, I know, I know. Uh, P E R I O D. Again. P E R I Like in Spanish, periodo. You say, right, but it's not periodo, it's period. Uh -huh. With D at the end, with D. Period. Period. Okay, thank you. Okay. And you know how to, how to spell comma, right? Comma. Yes? C? Yes. Uh-huh, continue. O-M-M-A. Good. Okay, good. And then the rest of the punctuation, colon, semicolon, uh, apostrophe, etc., etc., right? Okay, now let's continue, please. And after the review, let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoint presentation for today, right? Any extra question about the conjunctions? No? Okay, good. So let's continue. We're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation. Give me a second. Give me a second. I will open the, the screen. Okay, now share screen. Okay, here we go. So give me a second. Presentations here. Okay, here, right? So, Pre Intermediate Module 3. Today is the topic for today is two, right? Conversation and a video about the use of can and should. Can and should, the models can and should for today, right? Okie dokie. So, uh, so, let's start with the conversation. The conversation, we're going to start, right? Ah, oh, sorry, I will read the, the objective before. No, uh, let me see. Gloria, read the objective for me, please. In these sessions, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. Good, we're going to see, a, uh, listen to a conversation, right? And, um, but the conversation uh, introduces the use of, of should and, and, and can, right? Can. Okay, good. Now, but uh, in the conversation, give me a second. Okay. Ah, sorry. Vocabulary. Before the conversation, right? Uh, anytime. For the vocabulary, we have a uh, anytime, whether, miss, Interesting, can, should, and museum, right? So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me with the microphones off, please. Anytime. Anytime. Microphone off, right? Con los micrófonos apagados, please. Miss. In this case, it's the there, right? Perderse, miss. Interesting. Interesting. Can. Should. Museum. Okay. Now, let's go to the conversation, right? Conversation. What should I see there? Okay, listen. This is Thomas talking. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? 
And Elena said, sure I can. What would you like to know? And Thomas says, well, what's a good time to visit? And Elena say, I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. And Thomas says, oh, good. And what would I see there? And Elena say, well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And Thomas says, ah, and what else? And uh, says, oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's interesting. Let me see, it's interesting. Sorry, uh -huh, yes, it's interesting. And Thomas says, it all sounds really exciting. Okay, so we're going to practice the conversation. So again, I need you, uh, I need you uh, turn off your microphones, right? Turn off your microphones. And uh, we're going to practice together, right? So no. I say, stop. Hey, come on, I like that, eh? <laughs> okay, turn off the, the microphone, please. Apagamos los micrófonos. Okay, now. Please, repeat. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Yes, thank you. Sure, I what? can. What would you like to know? What well. would you like to know? What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? What's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. I think you can go anytime. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? What? Should I see there? And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely, you should definitely visit the National Museum. Visit the National Museum. Museum. Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Palace. Go and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? And what else? Oh, oh, you shouldn't miss. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Sun. Pyramid. Miss. Shouldn't. Oh, 
You shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. It's interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Exciting. Really. Sounds. It all. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, very good. Now, uh, any question about vocabulary? Any word that is difficult for you, class? Questions? Only Sorry? De definitely. Ah, de definitivamente, right? Listen. No, definitely. The pronunciation. The pronunciation. Listen, pay attention. Definitely. 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 Ah, good, good. Definitely. Definitely. Good. Definitely. Definitely. You should definitely. Definitely. You should definitely. 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 On vacation, definitely. maybe I can give you some tongue twister for, for you, right? To practice. Definitely. 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 Pyramid. 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 Walking and running. Okay, good. Any other question? Questions? M museum. Mu ah, mu museum. Ah, then museum. It's museum. Mm, mm, mm. Museum. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Definitely museum pyramid. Yeah. pyramid. Okay. Good. Now I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. I. Okay. <laughs> Please. I do, teacher. Patricia. Patricia I. And, and, and who else? Name, please. Patricia and? I. Say, say your name. Alan. Alan, okay. Perdón, Alan. Alan. Ahorita, como lo, tengo la pantalla compartida, no puedo verle sus caritas, okay. So, Alan and Patricia, please. Oh. Alan and Patricia, come on. Alan is okay. Thomas. Alan okay, is... let's start. Can you tell me a little bit about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go, go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see, I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Fine Arts, pardon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should, uh, you should miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, so we have more words to pronounce, right? Exciting, <laughs> exciting, exciting, exciting. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Remember the the L is mute, right? The L is mute. The L is mute. So you say shouldn't, 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 shouldn't. shouldn't. Interesting. 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 Good. Let me see. We have time. Yes, I have, we have time for more for two more volunteers, right? Two more mm -hmm. volunteers. Janira. Janira. Okay. Thank you, Janira. And hey, teacher, Felipe. Uh, Felipe. Okay. Janira and Felipe. I have a question for you. Sorry. I Thomas. Give me a be, give me a second. Uh, I am Tom. Felipe. Felipe. Yes, I teacher. have a question. Estoy compartiendo pantalla, pero no sé si les cubro la, la conversación. Dígame si se la estoy cubriendo ahorita. No, it's no, okay. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, thank you, thank you. Es que mi pantalla me parece que les, 
les cubro parte de la conversación, entonces, pero ustedes... Sí. No, está bien. Después del museum. Okay. No, teacher, está bien. Ok, thank you, thank you very much. Ok. Now, uh, please, Felipe, go ahead. Tomás, o Tomás. Ok. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should, should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It is interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, thank you very much. Now I, I see you have problem with this, right? Palace. 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 Of fine arts. De arte fino, de arte bonito, right? Fine arts. Palace of fine arts. De las bellas artes. Uh-huh, that's it. Yes. Remember Juan Gabriel singing in, in this palace, right? Yes. So Palace of fine arts. Palacio de las Bellas Artes, in Mexico, right? They say it's beautiful. I don't know Mexico, but people yes. say it's very nice. Sí. Okay, good. Now let's continue with the video, but we're going to listen the last time in the platform, right? In the platform, uh, the conversation is not very clear. Let me see. Um, wait a minute. Mm. Here, no, 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 you don't find it. Sorry, no, okay, give me a second. I have problems here, just a second, please. Ah, okay, let's go to out to the PowerPoint. Oh, good, excellent, out to the PowerPoint, and let's go to here, right? Okay, yes, okay, now. We're going to, to listen to a conversation. Let me see. Good, I have it here, right? Just give me a second. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay, I have it here. Thank you for, for waiting. The technology, you know, okay, here, here you have, right? Uh, the problem with the platform is the, the conversation is not clear, right? Uh, por ahí me, me dijo un alumno que no se entendía bien la letra, okay? But we already practiced. Ya la practicamos. A los que nos cuesta ver bien, pues, no puedo ver bien las letras yo, pero ya las practicamos anteriormente. So listen again, for the last time, please. Listen. Oops, sorry. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, good. So that is the conversation, right? Now, we are going to introduce the topic of today. Today, we're going... I don't see pause today. Well, anyway, don't worry. For the next class on vacation, you can make it. Now, for the, the next class, we're going to introduce the use of should and can, right? So I will go back to the, to the presentation of the PowerPoint. Okay, let me see here. Okay, then presentation. Mm -hmm. 
ओके सो द लेसन ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर दिस क्लास इज ग्लोरिया प्लीज ग्लोरिया कैन यू रीड फॉर मी प्लीज यस टीचर रीड प्लीज इन दिस सेशन मोडल वर्ब्स कैन एंड शुड विल बी टू in order to in order to ask Oops. and answer questions yeah thank you there is a mistake it says in order to in order to but it's only one in order to write oh okay. thank you yes thank you gloria thank you very much now and so we have here the the modal verb right i will explain before in generally what is a modal verb right let me explain that a uh, to make the difference pay attention because this is really really important okay uh auxiliary and modals what is the difference because sometimes we say it's an auxiliary it's a modal so what is the difference in english so an auxiliary example is the verb to be the verb to be is an auxiliary it's not a modal right but should should is a modal okay Other example is do, does, and did. Those are auxiliaries, right? They indicate action. And can is a modal, okay? Then for the present perfect, we have have, has, and had, right? That it doesn't mean in this context, tener, no, no, no. No, tener, no. It's e, hemos, as, an, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's the present perfect, right? Good, auxiliary. Then could is an auxiliary, it's a model, excuse me. Would is a model, will is a model, shall is a model, may is a model, and might is a model, right? Oops, sorry, excuse me. Okay, now what is the difference between auxiliaries and models? No, there, there is not a specific difference uh, or a concept to say, but uh, I can explain in a practical form what is the difference. Auxiliaries are very general, okay? Very general. And models are very specific. For example, when I say should, it's advice. When I say can, ability or possibility. When I say could, is a possibility in the past. Would is when you want something, right? Et cetera, et cetera. My is a possibility, shall is for future, will for future. But in general, I repeat, models are very specific, okay? And auxiliaries are very general, very general, okay? Understand? Okay, good. Now, but talking about models, we're going to talk about two models today. The model should and the model can, right? What is the meaning of should? Should is used for advice, consejo, well, suggestions, right? Deberías, debiera hacer esto, debiera hacer lo otro, right? And can- Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> uh-huh, you should go- to, an example. You shouldn't go to, to the beach on vacation. <laughs> okay, then can is, for possibilities. Mm, I can go tomorrow. I have the possibility to go tomorrow, right? And also it's used to, to show abilities. For example, I don't know, I can, I can speak Italian, for example, right? La ragazza per, eh, mangiare la pizza, mangiare il gelato en, en la fontana de la Termi, en la, en la fontana de la, de la eh, Termine and mangiare il gelato. Okay, so I can speak Italian, right? No, no, I cannot. But it's for ability. I have this ability, right? And also, I can play football. I can um, I can play the guitar. I can ride a motorcycle, etc., etc. For abilities. And today, we are going to learn how to work with should as an advice and can for possibility, okay? Good. So, and uh, let me show you this. Uh, here we have the structure, right? 
the structure. In affirmative, I can use can in this way. Look, subject I, modal can, verb swim, and the complement, right? I can swim in Ilopango Lake. It's a possibility. I have the possibility to do that, right? Okay, in negative. They should not, in contraction, they shouldn't visit that city. Okay? And uh, when you make information questions, right? You say, where can we go? Where can we go, right? So these are some examples of the structure have to use uh, the models can, right? And, and, uh, and should. So now I, I need example, right? Uh, let me see, who wants to help me to tell me examples? I'm gonna ask uh, Janira. Please Janira, I need you give me one example using affirmative with can or should. Okay. Uh, I can play the piano. Okay. In this case, you're talking uh, about an ability, right? I can give you like a possibility. You can say, I can play the, the, the piano tomorrow, right? That's nice. Uh, Jose Perez, please help me. Tell me one example of a negative sentence using more or should or can, please. Uh, they, they should not fly in the city. Okay, nice. Good example, right? Oh, in contraction, right, Jose? Shouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thank shouldn't. You. That is correct. It's difficult to say the contraction sometimes. I know, yeah, yes, it's difficult, right? It's difficult. Shouldn't, uh -huh, yes. Okay, good. And let me see, Brenda. Brenda, help me, Brenda. For you, the most me? difficult, Brenda, yes. The most difficult. Information question using uh, the model scan or should? Um, uh, what? Mm -hmm. What should we, we do? Excellent. Very good. What should Thank you. Do? What, what should we do? Example, right? Good example. Excellent. So this is the explanation of, uh, of, the, of the use of should and, and, and can, right? But now we're going to go to the platform again. Let's go to the platform again. Let me see. Uh, yes, sharing. And give me a second. I will. I will close the presentation of the PowerPoint. Yeah. Thank you. Good. And then share the window. And here, right. Good. Now we want to watch the video. Can and should, right? Pay attention to the video, please. Pay attention. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus model verb, plus subject, plus verb, plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject, plus model verb, 
plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. Okay, I need we stop in uh, here, right? Uh, that when we use he and she, and you use the model can or, or, or should, right? Like in this case, notice in the video, he should go. Remember that uh, we say that the verbs, right, are added with an S, with he, she, and it, right? So you say, he goes, she goes, it goes, he lives, she works, right? So in those cases, you add an S or ES in some cases, right? But in this case, it's not necessary because you're using should or you're using can. When you use the model, I repeat, it's not necessary to change the verb when you use he, she, and it, right? Okay. Now let's continue. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. Okay, now, because we have little time, we don't have too much time, we're going to go to the knowledge check, right? Of this video. And we're going to, uh, we're not going to answer, but I will explain uh, how to make it, right? Okay. Remember, should is advice or suggestion, right? And can is a possibility, a possibility to go, to do, to eat, to cook, etc., etc. Or not do that. Do not cook, do not go, do not eat, etc., etc., right? Okay, with this information, we go here and say, I decide where to go on vacation, on vacation. I decide, so I can, I cannot decide, or I can decide where to go on vacation. I... No, 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 Just don't say, right? Don't say. So in this case, you're talking about the possibility to do or not to do something, right? Okay, don't tell me the answer because you're going to make it uh, in your house on vacation, right? Continue. You, look, you should or you shouldn't go to the end. Listen. And then he it says, it's my favorite place. If you're talking about the India and then you say that is your favorite place, it's affirmative was negative, right? Okay. Now let's continue. Oops, I made a mistake. Sorry, I, I copied, but don't pay attention to this, right? It's, it's a mistake. Okay, now I am planning to go to Bogota next year. <coughs> Sorry, when do you do you think I shouldn't or should go? I, I in my opinion, this part is not not very difficult. But you tell me, you tell me if it is difficult for you. You should or shouldn't go any time. The weather is nice all year, huh? It's similar to the conversation class. And number three, conversation three, should I rent or shouldn't I rent a car? Hmm? Okay, and let it be. No, listen, no, you should or no, you shouldn't. Hmm? So in this case, you're telling, no, 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 right? This is the solution. You, and then definitely use the software, right? Okay, let's continue. Where, now uh, this is the structure, right? Can or can't? I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok. 
Mm. So it's a question, it's negative, it's affirmative. So what are you going to use, can or can't, right? Then you miss the weekend market, el mercado el fin de semana, right? So it's you should or you shouldn't. Remember miss means perderse, right? Perderse algo que uno no ha hecho o ha visto, okay? Then the, if, the Eiffel Tower, right? What can I see or what can't I see from the Eiffel Tower? And finally, you should see or you should, no, wait, I want to show you. You can, sorry. You can see or you can't see all parties. Okay, so it's easy, right? Just You have just two options. I guess you, you won't have problems. After vacation, we're going to check it together, right? After vacation, we're going to check it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then the final exercise is pronunciation. And you can make it by yourself, right? You can make it by yourself. Let me see. At home. Oops. Here, right? Pronunciation, right? This is easy. You just to uh, like it's like uh, uploading the this chart, right? You click on in this arrow, right? Click, and then you practice. You listen this and practice many times, right? Pronunciation, can't and shouldn't. Part A. Notice that this part is difficult to pronounce, right? Can't, shouldn't. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. Uh-huh. It's not strongly pronounced. So you don't say can't or shouldn't. Okay? Pay attention. Because this is incorrect when you're speaking English. It's not, well, you can say it. It's correct, I know. But, but it's not common. It's not popular to say shouldn't. I shouldn't go, to, no, okay, oh, I can't go to the party. No, you cannot say that. You uh, slightly pronounce the T, so, so you say shouldn't, can't, right? Okay, but listen to the audio. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. Notice, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't, no, right? So you shouldn't. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You can, you can. Incorrect, incorrect, you can't. No, it's you can't. It's like in Spanish, apenita se pronuncia la T. Apenita se pronuncia, okay? You shouldn't miss the night markets. Listen, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Incorrect, you shouldn't, okay? Only that, right? But I repeat, you can practice at home. You can practice at home, right? And I will uh, ask some of you about the, the attendance, right? Alan is here. Uh, Angel Martinez, not today, right? Betty Vasquez, Betty, yes, okay. Blanca uh, Lemus, no, right? Eh, Brenda Álvarez, yes. Eh, Present. Carlos Cabrera. No, okay. And Giovanni, I don't know what happened with Giovanni, dos clases se me han perdido. Iris Palacios. Yes. Karen Meléndez. No, okay. Okay, we're going to do something practical, right? We'll take a picture, right? Vamos a tomar una foto para... Ok, ready? The cheese. Ok, thank you very much. Now, uh, I'll, I'll tell some uh, announcement, right? Tengo algunos anuncios antes que terminemos. Un minutito, les voy a robar nada más. La otra semana vamos de vacaciones, va vacation. Ok. E iniciamos el, el lunes 10 de agosto la, la, las clases nuevamente. Lo reiniciamos hasta el 10 de agosto, ok. Uh, 
la plataforma queda abierta para ustedes en el momento que ustedes quieran trabajar. Eh, tenemos dos checklists ahí pendientes, eh, pendiente, dos knowledge check, check, sorry, knowledge check. Eh, y los hacen, ¿verdad? Y si quieren ayuda, pues ahí voy a estar yo pendiente en las vacaciones. De la, desde la playa de Mahahuala, no, 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 desde mi casa voy a estar uh, monitoreando y ayudándoles. Eh, repito lo de la clase anterior, eh, ya se me dieron ciertas instrucciones y ustedes pueden adelantarse todo lo que quieran, ¿verdad? Solo me dicen en qué ejercicio se han adelantado y ahí yo los voy a apoyar. Y los que no pues quieran seguir el ritmo de la clase normal, pues ahí vamos juntos todos, ¿verdad? Así es que lo importante es que ustedes se sientan cómodos, ¿verdad? Este, si hay alguna sugerencia, pues ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Ahí en el WhatsApp, teacher, hagamos esto, teacher... Eh, hable un poco más rápido o más lento, no sé, ustedes me dan la sugerencia que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? Good. Any question before, before we finish? ¿Alguna preguntita o sugerencia antes de que terminemos? No, está bien así, teacher, está no. comprensible. Ok. Good. Enjoy your vacation. Hey, you too. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.